Yeah, sorry, you can come in. Am I... okay? I... You, you don't mean that. Thank you. For coming here and listening to me. Why did you? Hey, your face, it's covered in cuts and bruises, your whole body, are you okay? You don't look fine, he hurt you. He got it worse than you? I didn't notice. I was in shock at what he said. The words kept rumbling through my head over and over on the loop, and I. <sighs> You're right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why didn't you go to the infirmary? Oh. Is Armin okay? We should still check on him afterwards. Well, I... I need to take care of you. It's... it's the least I can do since it was my fault you got hurt. There's no debate over this. It was my fault and that's the end of that. Let me grab the first aid kit.
How hurt is your eye? Can you see through it? It's probably just a black guy then, but I'll still clean it. This will hurt a little though. I just can't believe after all those years he turned out like this. <laughs> well, I... When all of us sat down at the table together, after four years, it brought back memories of us just being kids again. And then I saw the look on his face. And those memories disappeared from my head. I could see he changed, and not for the better. Here. I'm gonna put this on your eye. And then I'll wrap this around it, okay? Wear this for a little bit, and you can get it changed at the next infirmary visit, because I'm making you go there, whether you like it or not. Now I'm just gonna get the rest of these cuts. The deep ones you're gonna have to visit the infirmary to get them stitched, because I can't do them here. Hmm. <laughs> You want to know which ones? Well, I remember us saving our men from the bullies. Well, they weren't really scared of Aaron, though. He was always fiery as a kid. But the strength he has now is from willpower and determination rather than being born with it, like me. I always remembered you and Aaron fighting over who is stronger. It's ironic now, though, because ever since we joined the Training Corps, and eventually the Survey Corps, They've made so many friends. Our life was never good before, but it got better. But I guess we knew what we were getting into. Friends we consider family. And after losing Sasha, I thought things couldn't get any worse. I'm not the kind of person to share my emotions with anyone. But when Aaron called me a slave, more specifically, a slave for him, I knew he wasn't wrong. But he wasn't right either, you know? Well, to answer that question, we'd have to go back when we were helpless little kids. You used to always pick on me for quote unquote having a crush on Aaron, which I won't lie, I did. But as time grew on, I began to see the bigger picture. I realized he's more of a brother to me, which is why I protected him. A person can love someone as a brother, 
and that love would still be just as important as per se a partner. But I not only protected him, I also protected you with my life. Which is why he wasn't right nor wrong. Yeah, I'm sorry that was kind of a lot. Anyway, I finished cleaning your wounds. But Aaron's words still hurt more than anything I've ever experienced. I won't be his slave. Ackerman blood has nothing to do with him. <sighs> huh? Why do I protect you? I... I don't know. Because I care for you. I still care for you and Aaron and Armin, but why do you think he said the things he said? There was so much pain in his eyes, in his voice. He hurt all of us, not to mention Armin getting torn to shreds. But really, you were in such bad shape when you came in here. Are you sure you're okay? <sighs> You've always been stubborn, but if you can, you can. Do you want to go see Armin now? I hope he's doing okay. I... Should have checked on him instead of running away after the fight. I didn't know what to do when all the people I care about the most begin fighting right in front of me. And to be honest, it was a good while before I noticed what was happening. After Aaron said those words, I... I couldn't see anything else. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Let's go check on Armin.